Hey, I'm Teddy Burns, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. The question I got to ask today is, Teddy, how do I download a file from LinkedIn? So rather than give an answer, I thought I'd create this quick little video. So they weren't clear about what area of LinkedIn they were talking about for downloading files. So I figured I'd answer those three different places that I can see content that you could potentially download. So the first would be from the LinkedIn newsfeed. So if someone shared an, a document in the newsfeed, then there's a way to download that. And rather than me go hunting for a document, let me go get one real quick that I know you could do this with. So I know for a fact that there's documents on uh, people's, uh, what's called their activity page. So you're looking at my activity page and there's my documents that, uh, that I would have posted to the newsfeed. And I posted this document about a week ago and it's a, it's a PDF and it's a multiple page PDF. It's got 14 pages in it. Now, in order to download this PDF, which you could have seen in the newsfeed, but you can see in my documents page, is you first have to click on this icon right here, make it full page. Once it's full page, then over here on the right, you'll see the, the little down arrow icon. You click on that. And scan for viruses. I could skip that if I want, and then I can hit download. And there's the PDF that I've downloaded. Now it's displaying the PDF by itself in Chrome. And if I want to download it and save it, I can do that right here. Give it a name and then save it wherever I want to save it on my computer. And then I just simply hit save. Now let's look at another way you can find a document. The other way you can find a document to download is, again, from someone's profile. So let me go to my profile. And you might find a document under Featured. So if I scroll through the Featured, there's a document right there, it's a PDF. If I click on that, then I can view it. Now again, I've got to click on this icon right here to go full page. Once it's full page, I do it again, right there. The download button, download. It brings it up in a web browser by itself, and then I can, again, in, within Chrome, hit the download button, give it a name, and hit save wherever I want to save it on my computer. Here's another place where you might find a document you might want to download is on again on the profile under someone's experience section. This is called the rich media area. So I click on rich this this piece of rich media, which again is the same PDF I'm doing this test with. And then again, I can hit the, no, no nothing is executable here except for right here. Click on that brings it up to full page. Again, exactly the same steps. Download it, bring it up in a browser. From the browser, I can hit save, save it to what, wherever I want to with the name I want to use. One more place where you can find content that you could potentially download is under what's called uh, publications. So I scroll down to publications. All of the content that you'll find under publications is typically links to content that's online. So there could be a document online somewhere, there could be an article online somewhere that you could potentially save, but everything under publications is going to be a hyperlink to something online. And once you go to that site, if that site allows you, there might be download opportunities or save the link opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. This is a, a, a Dropbox uh, document, so it's actually a PDF, that's very old, that you could save that PDF. So again, there are a couple different places you can find content on LinkedIn that you could to potentially download. In the newsfeed, the documents people share, which you could also find that on their activity page under documents. You can find content under featured on their LinkedIn profile. You can find content under rich media on their uh, experience sections. Again, that uh, could be downloaded. And you could find content under publications that you could download. Pretty much all the download activity within LinkedIn is going to work the same way. Bring the document up to full screen. Once it's full screen, upper right hand corner, there'll be a download button. When you click on that, give it the right name. You tell it where you want to save it on your computer and hit the save button. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope these ideas are helpful for you.